Hey, what's up there guys? Welcome to another Train Sim World 2 video. Today we got another uh, enhancement pack for Sherman Hill, which came out for Train Sim World 2 uh, a couple of months ago. And on top of the uh, very lovely sound mods by uh, a modder, goes by the name of Griggs, uh, for what you're hearing, ying ying in, in the distance there, the SD70 and the Dash 2. Uh, we've got now this enhancement pack for the route as a whole. Uh, this is by someone named, I'm probably going to butcher the name if I do, my apologies, a Dinobashi or Dino Baski? Not entirely sure about that. As always, I'll link it down below, and this is for PC only. Uh, unless they somehow figure out a way to mod, allow console stuff. Anyway, you're going to need Sherman Hill, obviously. Uh, this is just a pack file. You slap it in the folder, you're good to go. Uh, this does a ton of stuff. Uh, replaces and updates textures uh, all over the map. Uh, they've listed over 20 assets have been updated and changed. Uh, U.S. plates for cars and trucks. Removed Euro-style markings for cars and trucks. Uh, details such as cat logo on the excavator, which you see here to the right. That's pretty cool. Nice little touch. Uh, I've I feel like this is stuff that Dovetail should be on top of. Yeah, I get the legality and all that crap, but, you know, this looks so much better. Uh, I gotta say, gotta hand it to that already, just the cat logo. Uh, new and real billboards for the area. Uh, new United States-style sidewalks. Uh, I don't remember the ones that we're in, but I, I guess I know what sidewalks look like here in the U.S. Um... New bridge ballast color, very nice. Trackside electric boxes, signage added. Uh, some buildings were overhauled as well for colors uh, realistically fitting to the area. Uh, just to name a few that were updated, diner and a gas station, uh, which we'll take a look at. I'm just pounding them down here, going over the bullets. Uh, UP and SP branding added to the old baggage cars. And replacement of the one uh, Hamburg Sud. Happy Lloyd with Hub Group and K Line, which that's huge. Uh, I felt like it looked way too Euro uh, with the containers that we had for the uh, the Z trains, or the stacks. Uh, so we're definitely going to be taking a look at those. But first things first, we're sitting here in Cheyenne on a lovely morning at eight in the a.m. We'll check this out first and foremost. So here's our excavator with the Caterpillar logo. That's not too shabby. That is not too shabby. It looks good. Hop over here and look at this car. Wyoming plate. It's a little muddy, but I'll take it. You know, that's 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 good. It looks, you know, you're not going to be all up a, a car's buckus like this in Train Sim World, but it looks good. You know, it's legit. Trucks as well. Good God, that thing's rusty. Look at that plate. Nice course not real numbers so uh they removed something on these because these are definitely euro style trucks here um we typically don't have these but again he's got a truck it even says truck on there that's cool because a lot of states require a plate to say whether it's a truck farm truck commercial etc etc so that actually says truck that is pretty badass it's a it's a nice little touch and on these arizona Grand Canyon State. You've got the damn year on there. I'll be. That's all right. That's pretty cool. Very nice. Very nice. Um, there is an old baggage car over here somewhere. Where the heck's it at? I think it's behind us. Pardon my uh, crappy panning skills. There we go. Ah, uh, there's one of each actually. And there's some some more as you're leaving Cheyenne, headed towards Laramie. So these look very nice as well. These add to the feel of this yard 1,000%, because uh, that's what's here in real life. Uh, you know, it's a shame that the the yard in this area is kind of downtrodden in the game. It's just very blank and bare looking. Uh, I think a lot of it's got to do with this crappy ground and ballast texture. But uh, I digress. This looks nice. This does look very nice. Colors look pretty on point. Old wood panel cars. Very nice. Then we have an SP over here. Southern Pacifique Railway Express Agency. 
Let's see, there we go. Southern pack. Right up there on the top. Baggage down here. That looks awesome. Very nice. Very nice. Go over here and check out this billboard. D's four-wheel drive. Accessories, trailer sales, shop. Very nice. Uh, so the cars overall, I think each and every one you go to is going to have a kind of a different tag. And appropriate for the most part. I don't know about the cars. The cars don't look like they have them so much. The trucks do. That one does. That one does. That's pretty neat. Little little touches like that. Just make it feel a little bit more Americana and uh, realistic. There's a sidewalk over there. Which, you know, does look pretty legit. Looks like a sidewalk. Very nice. Uh, now, some of the buildings were changed as well. The coloring. Just looking at that right off the bat, it, there, there is more of a pop to it. It's a little bit, I don't know say saturated I guess you could say colorful uh, it you know it looks nice it looks more realistic um, oh wait is that a purple tree yes it is dovetail it'd be uh, it'd be fantastic if you guys stopped placing purple trees in North American maps for trains and world those don't exist just change the color it can't be that hard right they just don't care. Got too much on their plate. More of the buildings as well. Look nice and colorful. Good looking little town. Cheyenne. Cheyenne. Let's see what else has changed here. So we got a Z train sitting down there. We're going to get tit in just a minute here. The town looks great now. It's a lot more colorful. I just noticed this building floating over here. What the hell? Okay, that's, that's probably like that beforehand. I don't think that was uh, altered. Check these trucks out down here. Very nice. Um, Alright, so here's our stack train. Some of the containers were changed. And I feel like uh, it looks a lot more prototypical. Uh, some people would argue that, you know, yeah, I get it. Hamburg suit, one, all that. But it was just too much of it, you know, and it just looked like a, a friggin' German intermodal train for the most part. Uh, now, we have got the red and white K line and hub group, which I gotta say, these, these containers look pretty damn nice, all things considered. Got the height on there, super heavy. That's a good looking container. That's your weight. So I believe there's a red and white, and the hub group. So you get three, you know, you get three new ones, which is pretty cool. I am totally fine with that and very, very thankful. Very nice. Those are some pretty good looking containers, I gotta say. Like we'll go to one of the the, the basic ass dovetail containers. <laughs> Just look at it. We'll do a little tit for tattage. That doesn't look very good. I mean, it's all right, but let's see. Where's one of theirs? Um, no. yeah. The hell, it doesn't replace all of them. I don't think. Yeah, these are obviously the uh, the standard ones. Be nice if we could actually get the uh, the wells and the numbers and lettering fixed. I don't know if someone's done that, actually. They may have. But I feel like it looks a lot better now. In my very, very humble opinion. Got some more of the baggage cars sitting over here. Here's the ones I was talking about. These look great now. They look a lot more realistic. Uh, another thing you'll notice in the distance there is this little diner. Uh, Wyoming's Best Family Restaurant. Now, thems might be fighting words to family restaurants in Wyoming. 
Do they have anything to back that up? Uh, that they are the best family restaurant. I'm, I'm sure it's delicious. There's a, there's also a gas station up here, which is... <laughs> I don't know if it's... Uh, it made me giggle when I saw it. I don't, I don't know if it's legit. Oh, and the bridge. The bridge. Uh, I don't think only one bridge was corrected. Um, several were, and it looks a lot better. A lot better. Let's see. There's a little little gas station. Or my, my buddies in the UK. Petrol. There we go. The gas station. <laughs> Come and go. Uh, made me giggle. I'm but a child in the mind. You'll have to forgive me. Um, but yeah, there's, uh, now what the hell that is? KFC or something. It's popping though. And there's some billboards as well. I think I passed one of them. Because there's a lot when you're heading out of Cheyenne's. Let's see. Did I pass it? I think there's one back here. I went right past it. Try and wrangle in my free cam mousing skills here. Did I pass it? Because they look very, very good as well. Let me get there. Well, damn. Where'd it go? Am I just... No, there it is. Now, you can't get over there. You probably can with some... You know... Editor, mod, whatever they're called. Tools where you can just fly around the map. But I'm kind of locked in right here. Beast mode, 365 days a year. Yep, that is a bison, not a buffalo. A lot of people call them buffalo. They're actually bison. And I recently saw a video on YouTube of some dumbass chasing one uh, in a national park. Like, the guy was inches from pushing daisies. Some people are idiots. Um, but anyway, that looks very damn nice. That's a sharp billboard as well. Uh, depending on the time of day, you'll you'll see one or the other better. I can't tell what that one over there says. Um, too much good is bad. I'm not sure what that says. But yeah, a lot of stuff was changed. Um, it's just a little more um, realistic. You know, it's not a bad little enhancement pack. It's a shame the uh, the ballast. I mean, the ballast color looks okay. Don't get me wrong, but that patterning and and the way it fades, or should I say, doesn't fade uh, into the the grass and the right of way. It just looks bad. That's like this. To me, that's one of the worst things about this route. Is just looking at these tracks and the sides and right of way. It just does not jive. It doesn't shake hands. It, uh, it just don't look that hot. There's another billboard down here as well. There's another bison billboard. That's cool, man. You can get close to that one. Sweet. Hashtag forever west. Tatanka. Uh, what does that say? Oh, gamble responsibly. There's gambling in Wyoming? No shiz. I didn't know that. Here's some more uh, little shops and gas stations and another come and go. <laughs> there we go. Here's another one. Wyoming Public Media. Wyoming Public Radio Classical. Wyoming. Wyoming Sounds. Jazz. Wyoming. Very nice. Very nice. So, yeah. Just wanted to kind of look around Cheyenne. Um, some stuff was done all over the route, if I'm not mistaken. Just wanted to kind of, you know, poke my head around and... And see what's happening with this nice little enhancement pack again, which you can find uh, down below. I'll link it as always, uh, and go and check it out for yourself if you wanna, if you wanna see, you know, the the route look more like it should. Uh, you know, instead of reused Euro assets like uh, Dovetail likes to use on a lot of the uh, American routes, because they've always got that financial wheel spinning and they don't have time to make things right. Um, but anyway, yeah, that's it, guys. Just a quickie. I'll see you next time. Take care.